This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jeff Threads. So up this week, we're going to talk some iPhone 5. Of course, we're going to talk about how it stands up in comparison to the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note 2, and talk about the iPhone 5 on its own. We're going to talk about custom ROMs for the Galaxy S3 and other Android devices, and a little surprises thrown in here as well. This is As the Buffalo. Let's go and get started. User Kara William asks, Hey John, I'm wondering if it's worth purchasing the iPhone 5 or the Samsung Galaxy S3. Thanks. So this is a tough question. It all comes down to personal choice. So only you can answer it. But you're going to be able to figure out which side of the equation you fall on. If you like your phone to just work, work well, you don't like to do tweaks, customizations, or hacks, you're going to want to look at the iPhone. If you just want a phone that out of the box is going to perform well, you're going to know how to use it, it's going to have an intuitive interface, then the iPhone is going to be more for you. Go for the Galaxy S3 side of things if you like to get more into your phone, if you like to customize, like to tweak, you want to be able to see information quickly and have access to widgets, or you want to get into perhaps root. If you want a bigger screen, the Galaxy S3 is going to be a little bit better choice for you. Build quality wise, I think the iPhone 5 has the Galaxy S3 licked. Performance wise, it's kind of a toss up. Screen wise, kind of a toss up unless you want size. Camera wise, still kind of a toss up as well. So the personal choice is really going to be yours. User Colton Spurlock asks, hey John, how do you feel the iPhone 5 stack? up against the Galaxy Note 2. So this is where I might be a bit on the odd side. When it comes down to the Galaxy S3 or the iPhone 5, honestly, it's a total toss-up. I could pick either phone and be very happy for the next two years. Galaxy Note 2, though, is probably the phone that I am most excited about this year. I'm really excited to get my tiny hands on the great big Galaxy Note 2. That phone, for me, is the must-have device of the year. But giant phone, tablet, Phablets or tones aren't for everybody. They're hard to fit in your pocket sometimes. They look a little strange when you're out and about. People are always going to sort of give you looks at the side of their eye like, what the heck are you doing? So it's really going to be a matter of personal preference, but for me, the Galaxy Note 2 is awesome. I found myself not even using my iPad very much. I love to be able to manage all my fantasy sports teams right on there. I could see everything. Video consumption, it's incredible. So in my mind, Galaxy Note 2 would definitely be the way to go. Jose Luis Gill asks, hey, John, what do you think about the AOKP ROM for the Galaxy S3? Is it worth it? And when will the official build be coming out? So the AOKP ROM is actually what I was using on the Galaxy S3. I'm not a big fan of TouchWiz. I wanted that native Android experience that I loved on the Galaxy Nexus, but on a bigger screen and with more power in the Galaxy S3. And it worked awesomely. I was upgrading to nightly builds and it worked really well. However, I ran into issues with AOKP. It's not yet officially been released. It's still in beta. First, Bluetooth wouldn't work for me. Bluetooth in car would constantly disconnect, which is a problem. If you drive a lot and you want to be able to make phone calls, it really became a big issue. And that was a really a deal breaker for me. I upgraded probably about four different versions of Nightly's, hoping each one would fix it. And eventually it did not, unfortunately. So I'm going to wait until the official release comes out. If you're anxious about upgrading to a Nightly build or an unstable build, then wait. The official builds that come out from CyanogenMod, AOKP, uh, or a ton of other ROMs, there's some called Paranoid Android. Once they're official, they are extremely stable. And I would probably say even more stable than you get out of the box from OEM manufacturers. You can tweak settings, you can add items to the menu bar. There's a lot of stuff you can do that you don't get out of the box with Android. And the customization options are really endless. Uh, so if you like Android, you like the customization that it offers, you might want to consider rooting. Uh, and I'm a big fan of AOKP. It's certainly uh, Cyanogen Mod 10. All right, so I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but ain't wasting all your cash on them, you should listen up. You can score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands and prizes that will literally melt your brain. There's a wait list to join, but if you go to jackthreads.com techno, you can get in on the Action. I'm super fashion forward with my red t-shirt. But I don't want to go shopping. I hate going shopping, I hate going to the mall, I hate walking around. I know my size, I know the brands I like, I just want to order them and get my clothes sent to me. It makes life a lot easier. So if you're like me, give Jack Threads a try. Go to jackthreads.com techno and get in on all the action. Let's go back to the last question. So there are a lot of crazes sweeping the world. Before it was the Macarena, now we got size Gangnam style. That's what the next question is all about. Vincent asks, John, can you show us your dancing to Gangnam Style? No, I'm not going to do that. What do you think this is? I'm not a dancer. I'm a technology journalist and I demand to be taken seriously. i
So, hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news, and I promise you, no dancing. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,